Today, we look at adding the average power on screen for our custom workout interval blocks. Showing average lap power is a common thing we do out on the road when doing hard efforts and intervals. On our head units, we press lap, and at the end of that, we see the average power that we've held for that specific section. Showing average lap power is seen in some of the FTP tests in Zwift, but it's not an option to select or implement within your custom workouts in the workout editor. I'll take a guess at a few reasons why we haven't seen this. Well, first of all, erg mode sets the wattage for you, so your average is going to be whatever is set. If I'm doing a 200 watt steady state session, then obviously the average is gonna be 200 watts. If I'm doing 250, the average will be 250. It's kind of redundant in that respect. If you're using level mode or a non-smart trainer, or even smart trainers with erg mode that may be a little bit wonky or a little bit slow to stabilize, then that rolling average shown on screen may take a while to settle down. So if it's only a 20 second or a 30 second block, maybe even a minute, that initial spike will affect the average rolling wattage shown on screen, and it's gonna be a bit wonky. Regardless of all that, it's a common request that we see quite often in the Zwift forums, and just last week, Lance asked for exactly this. Lance has posted over on the Zwift forums asking that he'd like to see the rolling average power rather than instantaneous power for a workout interval, because what happens in workout mode, the power is unsmooth. You see your instantaneous power on screen. That number goes up and down, can be a little jagged. Showing the rolling average may be a little smoother, and a little bit better to, to, I guess, to ride to as a target. Today, what I'm up to is adding the undocumented feature showing the average wattage for a workout interval to the Llama lab test. Let's jump over now, add it, jump on our bike and see what it's all about. Okay, Windows 10 machine, loading up the file explorer, going to documents, Zwift, workouts, my user ID directory, and finally the Llama lab test, which is here, and then opening that up in a text editor. Looking for the intervals that I want to add the average watts shown on screen to, and it's as simple as show underbar AVG equals one. And there we go. That's the feature we add manually to each block that we want to show the average watts. So I'll add that to the 200 watt zone, the 250 watts. And here I'm going to add it to the over and unders, the 20 second blocks here, 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 and here. We save that file, exit out. And then we jump over to Zwift and have a look at it. Okay, E for workout mode. We select the workout and get straight into it. You can see here the free ride mode does not have average watts displayed, which is what I was after for this free ride block. It's not until we get into the 10 minute section of 200 watts that average watts is on the screen. Let me jump through to that now. Okay, tabbing across. We can use tab to jump sections in my workout here. And you can see the average wattage on screen there is really jumping around as it kicks into the first 10 seconds. We're into 15 seconds now. Now the instantaneous power shown there is what I'm after. So 200 watts it's set and about 200 watts it's holding on the kicker. Jumping around a little bit there, but you can see the average of 212 and that slowly comes down because as erg mode kicked in, obviously it went a little harder than 200 watts but that's gonna affect the average reading on screen. So it's not until later on, probably three or four minutes down the track, which I'll fast forward through to here, that, that average comes down and sort of stabilizes where it needs to be, but it's always gonna be a little higher because of how erg mode works. It kicks in a little harder at the start, which impacts that number. Okay, four minutes done here, and the number there is coming down, and we're gonna jump up to the 250 watt zone here. And the same thing happens there. The erg mode kicks in a little harder, then stabilizes, but that does impact the average reading. So fast forwarding through till here, another four minutes, and you can see it takes a little bit for that to come through and stabilize to be really of any use on screen. It's kind of handy to have, but it can be misleading. Okay, jumping to the under and overs for 20 seconds. And you can really see what happens here with that rolling average. It does jump around quite a bit. The instantaneous power there, I'm only holding 150 watts on the pedals now, but that average indicates that I'm doing a lot more because obviously it's the average. So we'll wait for that to kick in and you can see the power there jump up. 368, 371, 362, so it's over the target, now under. And you can see that average bouncing around quite a lot. But the instantaneous power is pretty smooth. 
that average is bouncing up and down. So the 20 second is probably a bit too short for that to stabilize. Down to the 150s again. I'm gonna run through the whole lot here, so bear with me, but we'll have a look at how smooth things are on the pedals and the graph down below on the screen there, you can see that erg mode's holding quite smooth. That average is still quite high. Okay, into the second 350 watt zone here, so bouncing up to 376 before it comes down, stabilizes, and that average is bouncing all over. So it wanted to do the right thing, but didn't quite get there. You can see that yellow line at the bottom, pretty smooth, but still didn't indicate that we were doing a 350 watt average. Okay, down to 150 now, instantaneous power, 150. And here's the fun part, up to 450 for these next two sections. So the average there was listing at 208, which it may have been the case as I was pedaling, but the calculations were just a little bit too, too fast, I think you'd call it. Okay, here we're pushing on the pedals, pretty smooth. 464, 455, 454, but the average isn't kind of near that, it's bouncing around a bit. Okay, and down to the 150s again. We'll do one final uh, 150 watt zone. That average was bouncing around very high, but you can see the graph on the bottom there, it's sort of. Okay, into the 450 watt zone, the final one, 470, 451 on screen, 458, 432, and that average just it doesn't indicate there's a bit of sawtoothing going on there as erg mode stabilizes, but it doesn't quite, oh, I don't know, it's really not that, uh, not that ideal. Okay, final 150 watt zone here. You can see the average is still quite high, even though I'm only doing instantaneously at right, at this point in time, 152, 140, but the average is still quite high. And then we bust out into free ride, and away we go. No wattage shown on screen there for the average for that interval. So there it is, how to implement show average for any interval on screen and what it's about. It's really not that handy unless it's a few minutes down the track and things start to stabilize. For the shorter intervals, it really wasn't that handy at all. Those short over and unders were exactly what I was after. The zones were pretty close with the smart trainer that I was on, the Kicker 18, but on what we were showing on screen, it really wasn't ideal. And I'm guessing this is why this feature hasn't been implemented in game officially and still remains undocumented. But if you wanna get it done, that's how to do it. A more practical usage for this show average wattage undocumented feature may be for some over and unders in free ride mode where you choose the wattage you need to do and for subsequent blocks, you try and hold the wattage that you held for the previous one or try not to fatigue, see how many you can get through and just try and chase that target number, possibly. Depends how long those go for and how smooth your smart trainer is for reporting that power. Okay, wrapping this one up for today, I will document this undocumented feature in the video comments below. So if you wanna implement this and have a play around and see if it works for you, go for your life. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.